We're going to take a look inside this bag and see what Dave takes for his Parks on the Air activations. That's coming up on the next episode of Ham Radio Q&A. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. If things like that interest you, you can do a few things for me. Like and subscribe, and also check us out on Patreon. Patrons help keep the mission alive. That's at patreon.com slash KB9VBR antennas. Well, Dave White, uh, KZ9V, uh, stopped in today and um, wanted to show me his um, portable activations bag. Uh, this is the bag he took uh, with us a couple months ago when we were at the uh, joint activation at Black River State Forest, but we never really got a good video of all of the gear he likes to take into the field. So I thought that, you know, this would be a great opportunity to kind of uh, step out and uh, open it up and see uh, what everything uh, Dave brings along with him for a portable activation with like parts on the air. So Dave, why don't you take it away? So the, the thing with the, the bags is no one bag or no one set of equipment is ever going to be perfect for everybody. It depends on how you operate, what bands you operate on, how much power you need, and how you travel. You know, some of these uh, POTA activators are hiking for miles up onto the mountain. They're not going to carry a bag like this up on the mountain. There are guys that, that fly to the uh, various parts of the country, and uh, that's kind of what what uh, my situation is. I, I've i activated all over Wisconsin, but I've also activated in uh, Hawaii. I have a daughter that lives in South Dakota. I just came back from a trip to South Dakota. So what I need is a bag that I can take to the park, I can throw it in the car, I can, I can take it with me on the plane. And so I wound up with this guy right here. It's a soft-sided bag. It uh, fits into the carry-on compartments of the airlines, which to me is most important because when I go to Hawaii or when I go to South Dakota or I go to Florida, I don't want to ever lose possession of my bag. So this guy stays with me through TSA and onto the plane. It, it fits the TSA requirements, which most airlines, it's 22 inches by 14 by nine. And this guy just barely fits. So everything I need, my power supply, my radio, my antennas, everything is in this bag. So let's open it up here. Okay, so on the top, see lots of wire. And believe it or not, when this goes through the TSA x-ray machine, they don't even bat an eye. I've, I've only once have I had them actually open the bag. And I've gone through TSA probably uh, 15 or 20 times. But on the top here, this is my uh, link dipole. Very simple. It's uh, not only simple and light, but it's probably the best antenna that I have for 20, 30, and 40 meters. I love it. A couple of rolls of coax here. It's a uh, rope to hang it in a tree. And then I'm a guy that uh, does a lot of uh, digital operation too, and I like to log electronically. So on the top, I've got the old pad for pencil and paper, but most importantly is my laptop computer. It's just a simple uh, Hewlett Packard, and I use it for uh, FT8, and I use it for uh, RIDI, and I use it for PSK31 and even uh, slow scan TV sometimes. But, uh, but that fits in there. Underneath that, we've got uh, a lot of duct tape, but this is a foam padding. And it might seem a little excessive, but you gotta remember that I'm bouncing this thing around in the airports and in the airplane, and I want everything to survive and be functional when I get where I'm going. So underneath that, Inside all these foam cutouts is, is all my radio, my batteries, my power supply, and everything. So we'll pull it out. My radio that I travel with is this little uh, Zygu G90. And uh, it's really nice because it's so small. I don't know what this thing weighs, but it can't be more than a couple of pounds. And it, it, uh, I run all the modes with it. 
um, single sideband, I do some CW, and digital, it's really a nice radio. I've got a power supply in here so that I can run the thing on AC power if I have uh, AC power available. Again, it's very small. It's not it's even smaller than the radio. And believe it or not, this thing puts out 15 amps of, of uh, current. So more than enough to run the, the G90. This little guy right here is my, uh, my best friend. I would not do an activation without it. It's just a simple cross needle uh, SWR meter. And it's got two scales on there, 15 watts and 150 watts. And I love being able to, regardless of what mode it is, when that transmitter goes into the transmit mode, I just glance over there and I immediately know if I've got an antenna issue or if, and if the radio is putting out the power that I think it's putting out because I'm famous for thinking I'm using 15 or 20 watts and it turns out I'm only still at one watt and this guy tells me immediately. So I love that guy. This is my MFJ antenna analyzer. Very small, simple. It's got a, a really neat color display on it, but it's really slick for tuning up that antenna quickly. Inside the bag here is a, a small uh, LiPo 4 battery, and that's uh, uh, 76 watt hours, 6 amp hours. And the beauty of this guy is that it's small enough to meet the TSA requirements. They have a limit of 100 uh, watt hours. So 76.8 gets me through the TSA guys. And uh, so it does the job. With the Zygu draws about six amps, full power, full 20 watts, uh, if you're transmitting continuously. So even if I was transmitting 100% modulation, steady, that battery would run for a full hour. So for a, for a typical activation, it'll run two, maybe maybe three hours. So that's, that's plenty. This is a uh, simple little CW key, one of these uh, 3D uh, laser uh, printed keys. It's really simple. I think I paid 20 bucks for it. It's a two paddle, and uh, even for a guy who's not too good at the, with the CW, it does the job. And then I mounted it to this little piece of ceramic tile so that when it's, when it's sitting down, I can actually key with it without having to hold it with two hands. So, so that's, that's pretty cool. So that's all that's on the inside. On the, in the back pouch back here, got a few little accessories. This is the uh, homemade adapter that I use to, for the digital modes. I don't use a, like a signal link or anything like that. So it just gets the audio in and out of the radio and to the laptop. And it's really, really pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, inside the bag, the assortment of uh, Anderson power pole cables and a couple of coax connectors. Uh, this little guy is actually a fan that runs on 12 volts. The, the Zyku radio is, is famous for getting kind of hot, especially if you're outdoors where it's, uh, say, 80 degrees, and if the sun is hitting that black radio, it can get really warm. So that little fan does the job. This, this little bag has got an assortment of barrel connectors. It's got a set of earbuds, earphones. There's a, a USB memory connector in there. Uh, I've even got a little, this is my, see if I can get this homemade dummy load out. When you're really in a pinch and you just want to make sure the radio is working. We'll have to get, we'll have to get a close up of this, but check that out. You won't find that in a store. Okay. And for guys that can't remember what the band allocations are there you go so that's that's my kit the beauty of it is uh, I can grab that thing and uh, head to the airport on the plane 
whatever. I've, uh, I just have a lot of fun with it, and it works well for me. So, so that's my kit, and uh, if you see anything there that's helpful, go for it. Well, Dave, thanks a lot for sharing that. This was really fascinating, everything you've, you've take, take along with you. And it looks like there's a lot of, of care and planning in what you put together in this, in this bag. Uh, I can see that you know, you've probably done quite a few iterations of, of finding what works and what doesn't work in yep. the field. Yep, yep. And it depends on uh, what each person wants to do. It's all different. But this works for me, and I can take it anywhere I go. And, and uh, so it's, it's really cool. That's great. Well, thanks uh, for giving us the opportunity to take a look inside and to see some of the gear that you bring out into the field. Well, if you've got any questions about Dave's portable kit, leave them in the, in the comments below. Uh, we'd love to hear, hear them. Uh, but for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. And check us out on Patreon. Patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over at patreon.com slash kb 9 dbr antennas. But that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9DBR. And I'm Dave, KZ9B. Have a great day and 73.